Hi, my name is Emily. I'm going to perform the skill video NG tube insertion. I'm in the appropriate school attire, badges, no school, no polish, no acrylic nails, no jewelry. Alright, to start off, I will go check my precision orders regarding the NG tube insertion. My supplies for this video, a pair of gloves, stethoscope, mesogastric tube, and I have my basin here. I have a towel, tape, I have my cup um, for water just in case they need it, 60 milliliter syringe. My pen light. And then I have a specimen cut with my pH indicator and some lubricating jelly. If the physician ordered the patient to have suction set up, I will get the suction apparatus and tubing that goes with that. When I gather my supplies, head to my patient's door, knock, enter, close the door behind me to ensure patient privacy, and set my supplies down on a clean, dry, flat surface. Hand hygiene. my gloves on and introduce myself to the patient. Hi Mrs. Smith, my name is Emily. Can I please have your name and date of birth? As I verify with her wristband and that will count as my two patient identifier. Alright Mrs. Smith, what's this? My name is Emily. I'm here because your physician ordered you to have um, a nasogastric tube placed um, NG tube. It is uh, just for if you're because due to your Parkinson's complications you've been having, it's for feeding or medication administration, anything like that, just to help it get to your stomach a little bit easier for you. It is a tube that goes in your note and travels all the way down to your stomach. Okay. To start off, I'm going to place you in high fowler's position. All right. Are you comfortable how you are? Good. I'm also going to raise the bed just slightly. All right, Mrs. Smith, next, I'm going to take a look at your nose, okay? I'm going to shine a light in your nose. All right, good. My patient's uh, nares appear patent. There's no uh, occlusions, no abrasions, uh, any deformities, anything like that. Her midline, or excuse me, her septum appears midline. Next, Mrs. Smith, I'm going to press on one side of your nose here. I want you to breathe in and out of the other side, and then we'll reverse, okay? Breathe in and out. Good. Other side. Good job. All right. After assessing my patient, it appears that her right nostril has a better airflow, so that's going to be the side that I'm going to place the NG tube in. All right, Mrs. Smith. Give me just a second. Get everything set up. I'm going to place my tubing in the basin of warm water. Here. Next, we are going to measure the tubing. To measure the tubing, I want to get the tip of the uh, NG tube here. I'm going to put it at her nose and pull it along to the tip of her ear and down to the side for the process. That is measuring about 50 centimeters. All right, Mrs. Smith, I'm going to place a towel around you. Just like that. All right, next I'm going to get everything ready. So, when inserting the tubing, you want to insert at the natural curvature of the tubing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lubricate it. I'm going to ask her to hyperextender head, and then I'm going to slide across the floor of the nostril towards the ear and towards the nasal pharynx. When it travels down to the oropharynx, she's going to gag, and that's why I'm going to ask her to lean her head forward. I'm going to ask her to swallow, and each time she does so, I'm going to advance the tubing about two to four inches. All right, Mrs. Smith, are you ready? I'm going to insert the tube. I'm going to lubricate the jelly here. Or excuse me, lubricate the tubing with the jelly. All right, Mrs. Smith, hyperextend your head, lean your head back. There you go. I'm going to insert, okay? Inserting. Good. Good. All right, my patient is now gagging. Mrs. Smith, lean your head forward. Good. All right, I want you to swallow. Each time you swallow, I'm going to insert the tubing, okay? Swallow. Oops. There you go. Swallow. 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 All right, I have met my mark, 50 centimeters. Mrs. Smith, just relax. All right, I'm going to hold in place here. If at any point during um, inserting the tube I was to meet resistance, I would withdraw re-lubricate and a place in the other side. If my patient continued to gag, I would let her rest, take a deep breath. I would give her some sips of water. A sip of water, uh, swallowing like that helps calm the gag reflex. All right, I'm going to place a temporary 
piece of tape to be here just to hold in place while I check the stem and contents. All right, there we go. All right, next I'm going to get my 60 millimeter syringe. I'm going to pull back 30 millimeters of air. Okay, kink the tubing, clamp, administer the 30 millimeters of air, unkink, and I want to withdraw back 5 to 10 milliliters of gastric content. Kink again. Clamp. Alright, I'm going to swish it around just a little bit. Put in my specimen cup here. Okay. Put the pH indicator inside. Depending on facilities, um, it's either 1 to 4 or 1 to 5 for um, some content pH indicator. It is between those uh, limits, so it is in the correct placement. Next, I'm going to come over here and apply the permanent tape. Just taking this tape off from Sis Smith, I'm going to put the other piece of tape on. All right, I have cut this piece of tape in half so it looks like two little legs. I'm going to have one wrapping around tubing going one way. Have the other wrapping around, maybe going the other way. There we go. All right, Mrs. Smith, is that comfortable? Okay, good. All right, typically in the real world, we would have tape and a safety pin to hook to the count. I don't have a safety pin, so I'm going to use tape. I'm going to hook to my patient's gown here. Alright, everything is in place. There we go. Alright, at this point I would um, lower the bed and confirm with X-ray. X-ray will come to her room and verify that it is in the correct place. X-ray has come, it is in the correct place. Um, at this point I would, if the physician had ordered suction, he didn't, but if he had, I would set everything up and um, ensure that everything's closed properly. He didn't order the section, so I'm just going to make sure the camp clamping, see, is closed properly. All right. Um, also, regarding uh, plan of care for the NG tube, I would want to maintain uh, paint see for any lining, whether it just be for the NG tube or the section lining. I want to uh, note characteristics of any drainage, the amount of drainage, and be sure to document that regularly. Um, yeah, okay, that's that. I'm going to clean up Mrs. Smith in just a second. Alright, dispose of these. Move this aside. Alright, Mrs. Smith, are you comfortable how you are? Good, okay, I'm going to lower the bed back down. Remove my gloves. Dispose of them. And hand hygiene. Um, when documenting um, the NG tube insertion, I want to document procedure, any care I provided, um, any assessments I did, and oh, how my patient responded to the procedure. 